Hey everyone, Pastor George here. Uh, I'm dressed up because I totally didn't forget to make a video this morning and wasn't going to leave the house just to totally forget that I didn't make a video today. So I'm going to make a quick video before I leave uh, and get it out to you guys. It should still be up in time, which is good. Kathy won't kill me for that. Um, so today, uh, I do have a topic. It's not like I'm throwing something together. I just forgot to record it. So today, uh, what I want to focus on is perhaps you've seen a lot of people posting like black box images all over the place. Um, I don't want to so much talk about that. What I want to more focus on is perhaps that you've seen like companies and stuff do this. Uh, and I want to read this text real quick and then talk about how I think that relates to kind of what we tend to do with these things. So just listen to this text. This is from Luke 11, verses 37 through 44. While Jesus was speaking, a Pharisee asked him to dine with him. So he went in and reclined at table. The Pharisees were astonished. Uh, was it the Pharisee was astonished to see that he did not first wash before dinner. And the Lord said to him, Now you Pharisees cleanse the outside of the cup and of the dish, but inside you are full of greed and wickedness. You fools, did not he who made the outside make the inside also? But give his alms those things that are within, and behold, everything is clean for you. But woe to you, Pharisees, for you tithe mint and rue and every herb, and neglect justice and the love of God. These you ought to have, uh, ought to have done without neglecting the others. Woe to you, Pharisees, for you love the best seat in the synagogue and greetings in the marketplaces. Woe to you, for you are like unmarked graves, and people walk over them without knowing it. Now, any time there's any sort of movement uh, going on, uh, you'll see many, many companies jump on the bandwagon. Um, now, I do want to preface this by saying I have no problem with people using social media to talk about issues or whatever, as long as they're doing it well, which most people don't, but that's another issue. Uh, I have no topic, uh, no, I have no problem with comp corporations in general. Um, both my parents worked at companies, and I have nothing but respect for business people and uh what they do. Uh, it's not like I think that they're some evil overlords or anything like that. Um, but what I will say is that you have to be very careful when you interact with, when they interact with the culture. Because everything to many of these people is a uh, scheduled thing where they want to say, they, they want to give you an impression of something without actually not caring that much about the issue. And a lot of people really fall for that one way or the other. Um, I'll put a good example of something that happened recently with a video game company uh, in regards to Pride Month where they put up all the different Pride flags except for their Middle Eastern part and they left that one out and people are calling them out and they made a funny SpongeBob meme out of it. Um, because at the end of the day, they care more about money than about actual message. Uh, whether you agree with the message or not, the point is is that they don't they clearly don't agree with it really uh, to the point where they're able to cut out at their bottom line, right? And to really pay in. And that's what Jesus is getting at here. Um, and I think why I want to talk about we need to resist kind of false attempts at us puffing ourselves up to say we're doing just things uh, when in actuality uh, we're not. And I think companies do this a lot. And you see that here because he says that the, the Pharisees, you know, you tithe and you do all these other things. Um, and you should do those things. Uh, but you neglect the keeping of all these other very important things as well, right? So you can do all these things that are really good, but then at the end of the day, you, does it really affect your life? Well, no, not really. Does it really impact you in any negative way? No, not really, you know? There's always that famous certain, uh, sermon that a lot of people, I've heard it from several different people, and it's th always something to think about, which is if they convicted you for being a Christian, would they have enough evidence, right? And it's like, it should have some impact on your life. Christianity should cost something, uh, and taking stands should cost something. If it doesn't look like it's costing something, you're probably not really taking a stand for something. You're probably just going along with the flow or whatever. So something to think about. Just don't fall into traps of false justice, uh, and I will see you on Sunday in this. So, you know, at least I'll look good. All right, see you guys then.